Welcome to Naresai Technologies. This is Ram Chinder. In this video, I am going to discussing about uh, some other methods related to java.util.stream.stream object. Those are count, two array as well as collect. What is the use of the count method? It will find out number of elements which has which are existed in where stream object. Now, observe here, find out the how many number of elements are existed in the stream object. For example, I have some elements in the list object. Those list object I am placed into where stream object by calling the method like a stream. Let me consider those objects are integers. On top of those integers, maybe the integers may be contains what here even numbers as well as odd numbers. I want to find out only number of odd numbers or number of even numbers which are existed in the stream. Then in that particular time we can go for what here count. So, that is one type of scenario. So, simply we can say how many number of elements are existed or how many objects are existed in the stream object. If you want to find out then we should go for method like. So, let me take one list object which is going to hold only integer data l i equal to new l i equal to new array list of new array list of integer new array list of integer. Now, observe here l i dot add of some elements 10 is one element integer element java dot lang dot integer. Now, uh, let me add some other elements also let me add some other elements this is what um, uh, 15 this is 20 ok this is 25 25 this is 30 and this is what here 35 and this is what here 40 this is 40. Now, totally how many number objects are there 7 objects are there how many even numbers totally 4 even numbers. Now, let me check by using the methods first I am copy this data into stream object by writing like following statements li dot stream method. Now, what I am doing going to do here is I am just calling one method like filter s 1 equal to s dot filter. So, filter having parameter like what predicate predicate having a method like a test and it is having a one input and it requires one input any type of data whatever it may be, but it will returns always what here boolean. Now, it requires one a input value and uh, on top of that input value I am performing some operations what x uh, modulus 2 of uh, 0. Now, what I am writing here very simple x whatever the objects which we have in the list all the objects are copied into where here yes by using stream object. On top of that yes I am calling which method filter method and by applying some condition. So, first 10 will be placed into the x x modulus uh, modulus division of 2 double equal to 0 means yes. So, that will be considered as what here even number. So, that is going to store in where here yes 1 after processing all the elements not individually copied after processing all the elements only the data will be copied into s 1. Now, I want to find out how many elements are there then we should go for method like what count then we should go for method like count we will get output like what here 4. Now, among these 7 elements how many elements are going to follow this condition or satisfy this condition only 4 elements that 4 elements are placed into where here s yes 1 and on top of the s yes 1 we are calling the method like what here count. Now, I want to print all the elements individually I want to print whatever the elements which we have in the s 1 I want to print it how can I by calling the method like what uh, 2 array 2 array returns object array 2 array returns return type is what here object array object array o equal to s 1 dot 2 array what 2 array method will do it will read whatever the content which we have in the s 1 and copy it into where o. Now, I want to print all these elements how can I print all these elements. So, we have a different approaches, but uh, let me go with the normal approach for for each loop I am using here object o 1 o and here I am printing like what here o 1 then it will showing the output like what 
10, 20, 30, 40. So, these are the four elements are satisfy this condition, then only those four elements are placed into where S1 by using two array method we copied into O and finally, we are printing that data. Now, I want to copy this data and convert it into one particular list and convert it into particular set, then particular uh, I want to whatever the data which we have in the S1, I want to copy all the collect the all the data and uh, place it into one list object. I want to copy the all the data and place it into one set object, then we should go for method like what here collect. Then how can we call collect method on top of this one, very simple S1 dot collect. Collect always required one parameter that is what here collectors, it is a class, it is a class. Now, it is available in which package java dot util dot stream package, it was launched in the version of what here 1.8, it is one class. Now, in this class there is a method like a tool list, in this class there is a method like a tool list. So, what is the meaning of this statement, whatever the content which we have in the S1, all the content copied by what here collect method and hand over to one more method like what? Tool list. It is a static method that is what we are calling by using what uh, class name. So, what tool list method will do? Tool list method will creating one uh, list object and place it into varier li1 and place it into varier li1, then system dot out dot print ln li1 content. Now, it will display the object 10, 20, 30, 40. 10, 20, 30, 40. So, we have a tool list method as well as we have a two set method and two map methods. So, different types of methods we have in the uh, collectors uh, class. Okay. One more time I am repeating the content which we have in the S1 that content will be copied by collect method and that will be handed hand over to whom one more method which is available in the collectors that is what your tool list. It is going to create one list object and whatever the content which we have in the S1 and finally, copied into where here li1. So, like this we can able to use count method as well as two array method as well as collect method. For more uh, um, information related to some other methods of stream object, we I am going to cover in the coming videos. So, for more videos please subscribe Naray channel. Thank you.